Uh, hi, my name is Esther Moverly and I work for the City of Lexington Waste Management Division. My title is Recycling Program Specialist. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what is the proper way to set out your carts. Here in Lexington we have three carts system, Herbie, Rosie and Lenny. Herbie is the green one for trash, Rosie is the blue one for recyclable material, and Lenny is the gray one for yard waste. And on your day of service, you should set out your carts the night before of your service day, and you should set them out on the curb, not in the parking or the driveway entrance to block your parking, but on the curb, three feet apart distance between each cart. The reason for this is because we are now servicing the city with automatic arm trucks or automotive, automated trucks, which means the driver comes with a hydraulic arm on the side of the truck and the driver will line up, collect that cart, lift it above the truck, empty it and place it down. And he will need space around each cart for the arm to come around the cart and grab the cart. And if you have the carts too close to each other, he won't be able to do that. Also be mindful of not placing them right beside the mailbox because the arm sometimes tends to grab the mailbox instead and we rather not do that. Um, the handle of the carts should be facing the, the house, not the street. This is because when the cart is lifted and empty it, the way, that way the lid will open the right direction and the material will fall in the car, in the truck properly. If you have uh, extra things as to set out, like uh, a broken piece of furniture or you have lawn bags or a box full of cardboard boxes flattened for recycling, you can set those up besides your carts, giving space between the cart and, the, and your extra setups. Those will be picked up by, an extra, by another truck or by the same truck with extra staff, but you still need to leave space around the carts for the automotive arm to pick it up. All right, uh, this is an improper set out of roll carts for waste management for the following reasons. Uh, first, uh, the bag is outside of the Herbie and all the material should be inside the bag. All the carts have the handles towards the, do towards the street and should the handle should be facing the home. Uh, the other thing that is improper is that all the carts are too close to each other and when the truck comes to service the carts with the automatic arm, uh, there's not enough space for the arm to, uh, to pick up each cart. And then last, uh, any extra set outs like uh, lawn bags or uh, bulky items or anything else, boxes of uh, cardboard for recycling, you should also place them beside them but not leaning against the cart. That way it has also space for the arm to pick up the container. Other things to remember is what goes in each cart uh, and the Herbie is for household waste or what we commonly would consider trash or materials that you're going to be sending to the landfill. By ordinance, those materials should be bagged inside the container. In the Rosie and the Lenny, you do not need to bag the material. It can be loose. In the Rosie, you can place all recyclables materials uh, such as newspaper, aluminum cans, cardboard boxes, milk jugs, uh, um, water or soda bottles, glass bottles, all of that in here mixed in loose. In the yard waste container, the Lenny is for yard waste such as uh, grass clippings, uh, leaves from the fall, pieces of brush or sticks, uh, plant material, no rocks please and no uh, dirt because we just want material that will be composted. If you have brush or large branches that you have cut, trim of a tree and they don't fit inside the Lenny, you can place them besides the Lenny bundled up and tied up about three to four feet wide only and we will collect them with the yard waste and send them to the composting facility for composting.
And you, let's say that you know your service day is on a Monday, you should place your carts out the night before after 5 p.m. And then after their service on that Monday, please be mindful of, of moving them from the curve after they've been emptied and placing them back either behind or besides your house. That, that way they're not uh, out on the curb all week long. They need to be placed back closer to your home after they've been serviced. Uh, we get a lot of requests about mattress collections. If you have a mattress that, and a box spring that you want to get rid of properly, just call Lex Call at 311 and place and make the request. Those items that will ask you to place them on the curb. If it's on the day of your service day, please don't place the mattress leaning against the cart. That will make it hard to collect the mattress or and or the cart. Just place them flat on the curb and a special truck that we call a knuckle boom truck will come and collect them. Another thing to remember on your collection day, please make sure that you don't park your car in front of the car. So if we had a car parked right here, it will be impossible for automatic trucks to service it. It will also mean uh, the driver will have to get out, roll the car aside, or you could, we could damage your car by mistake by uh, hitting it with the arm. So please be mindful of that and, and limit your parking on your service day. And don't, play, don't park in front of your carts. Uh, any resident that lives in the urban service area of Lexington can have any of these containers uh, and that will mean that the, the truck, three different trucks will come service your, your home on the same day. Uh, if you have a Herbie but don't have a Rosie or Lenny would like to participate, those programs are free and you can just call LexCall at uh, 311 and request a Herbie or a Lenny for your home. Uh, it takes maybe about 10 to 15 working days for you to get the container, but as soon as you get it, you can start placing it with your other container and it will start being serviced w weekly. Uh, for information about what day your service day is or what goes in each container, you can always visit our website at www.lexingtonky.gov backslash waste management.